Hello, Zero K fans! This is Shadow 33 with regular exhibition match stream. This, however, is going to be slightly different because the 2v2 tournament is this Saturday. This is the August 2v2 tournament. It's going to be this Saturday at 10 a.m. UTC, an hour later than usual. So keep that in mind if you've been doing the tournaments prior and you aren't 100% sure of the time. Yeah, it's going to be an hour later than normal, which for most people historically should be fine because a lot of people seem to come in an hour late, but. That aside, yeah, it's going to be a 10 a.m. UTC, so for the most part, like 10 in England, 11 in Germany, it's 3 in the morning in North in Western North America, and I guess 6 in the morning for what's generally considered Eastern North America, though really it's actually 7.30 because we have any Newfoundland, Newfoundland players. Anyway, 2 tier tournament this Saturday. Go on the forums to sign up. Don't worry if you don't think you're very good because at least give it a shot. So for tonight, I'm going to be having 2v2 matches rather than my usual fair of 1v1 matches. And we're going to be starting off with a game between Rafal and Sebulak and Cube and Forever. I'm getting better at pronouncing Sebulak's name. I think that last term was actually right. Yeah, here I thought I was able to pronounce Polish names, but apparently there was a limited subset thereof. But pronunciations aside, let's get to the game. So we have Sibylok and Rafal in this north. Sibylok going for Jump Jet Factory, Rafal going for Gunships, while at the same time, Cubay going for Shield Bot, while Forever goes for a common. Okay, Vindicator coming up right off the bat from Gunship Plant from Forever. Looks like Rafal is going for Black Dawn Rush instead, going for a straight up attack, while Sibylok isn't even actually building anything yet. Yeah, Vindicator coming up very quickly. That's. Well. I would have expected Cubay to be the one to build that, but I'm not surprised it's Cubay's team that's doing that. Because. Cubay, that's why. So, yeah, we're gonna be going for a common app attempt. The couple. The Nats are coming in as well, of course. That's standard part of it, is at least two Nats and a Vindicator. Although it looks like. I guess Forever's trying to just get the positioning right or get the clicking right. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. The Nats are coming up, and Rival and Sibylok aren't really too aware of this. Some puppies are being built, and actually this is not bad, although admittedly it will be kind of difficult for Rafal or Sibylok to actually get a counter in time. Puppies are not a bad idea, even though they are fairly expensive. They can hit air effectively, and of course puppy 410 damage, while Vindicator has 1100 health. So with three puppies, this could actually be outright countered, and Rafal is going to scout it out first. The Nats are coming in though, and they are going to try to stand out the Black Dawn. Will the Black Dawn get a shot in first? It looks like it will actually not. No, it's it's gonna uh, gonna retreat. The puppies over should be able to take care of the Vindicator, and it looks like no, it's not a calm nap. It's a calm drop. Cubay bringing their commander in and attacking directly with that. Probably gonna drop the calm and then nab a calm. We'll see though, and no, just pure calm drop. Cubay jumping in right in with Riot Cannon commander. Yeah, Riot Cannon battle calm. Rafal hadn't even upgraded their commander, and Tibalok has upgraded theirs, heavy machine gun, but it was way out of position. And the puppies, while they are trying to deal with Cubase Commander, did not deal with Vindicator. Not that it really matters at this point. The Black Dawn, however, has been dealt with, and Cubase Commander tearing apart Sibylox and Rafal's base. Sibylox, however, getting stunned out and destroyed by Cubase Commander. A couple more shots will do. Actually, that's getting calm napped. And Cubase Commander will basically be able to deal with Rafal's Commander, no problem. Their entire economy is gone. Blue Team is basically gone, and Nice! Throwing one commander into the other, throwing Sebulak's commander into Rafal's commander to basically take the game. So Rafal surrenders as a result, and Sebulak is not going to live too much longer. That... I have never seen someone actually pull that off, but or even try for that matter. But I'm glad to see when it was tried, it was pulled off, because that was... Well, that was something, at least. I mean, brief, yes. But definitely an interesting kind of brief. It's a new kind of calm nap, or at least... I don't know, I've never seen someone throw a comm into another one. That That's new to me. Might happen during the tournament, who knows, but happened right then. So I will have another game in just a moment, a longer game, not a comm nap one. But I heard that was pretty interesting nonetheless, despite being a comm nap game. And yes, it was definitely, it was definitely a unique kind of comm nap. I've never really seen commanders napped quite in that way. 
So anyway, I'll be back in just a moment with another game. It'll be Skazi and Playera 1 versus Kamar and Dedebs on Calamity, which I have never shown before. Never actually even seen before, honestly. Should be interesting. Stay tuned for that. 